This is Gravity Circuit. It's a Mega Man-like platformer. And it's very obvious that it is um, basing itself on Mega Man, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down. Oh god. This is... Okay, let's... Let me cut the... Oh. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I could have just went to Master 2. Whatever. Alright. So, now that the sound's all figured out, <clears throat> um, let's take a look at this game. It is pretty great from what I've tried. I've only tried the first mission, which is Power Plant. It is super Mega Man inspired, but it does some things a little bit different. Well, point those out as I'm going through. So it definitely does have that retro art style, that uh, 2D pixel art. Um, I love pixel art. It's one of my favorite things in games. Uh, look, that's just me. Maybe I'm old, but I love it. So, you're controlling this guy. He's kinda... Um, it's not really too much in appearance like Mega Man, um, but you have different um, different move sets. You can uh, press down while you're in midair to do the stomp attack. Uh, you can punch things. You can kick upwards. Um, there's a lot of versatility to this. So this is like a hook shot kind of thing. Um, which you can use in a variety of ways. Uh, you can use it to just straight up kill enemies. Um, or you can use it to launch yourself at enemies. And there's another aspect to fighting that I don't think I've seen in Mega Man at all. I could be wrong. There could be a very late stage Mega Man that did this. But, um, once you kill the enemies you can grab their corpses. So right now I have the corpse of that enemy in my hand, and you can use that to kill other enemies. <clears throat> I completely failed to do that there, but you get the point, and you'll see it in a second as well. So here I am grabbing this, throw it at that guy, it smashes his shield, uh, which leads to a lot of interesting things that, you know, I didn't know I wanted to do, but now I want to do. It's pretty fast paced. This is move speed with um, the sprint button held down. This is move speed without that held down. You can do either one, so you have a lot of control over where you're going. Um, the controls feel really tight as I get hurt. Um, but yeah, they're, they're actually really tight, I think. Um, which, you know, they have to be for this kind of game, or it just doesn't work. Let me grab this and try to use it on something. Ooh. So I think you can actually grab those and use them multiple times. Um, as long as they don't explode. Because obviously once they explode, they're gone. Uh, there are secret rooms, so you have to kind of be aware of your surroundings. See right there on the left. <clears throat> and... Here is another one of the mechanics of the game. You can use the hook shot to grab onto the roof and swing. It's kind of difficult to use uh, because, uh, not difficult, it's something you kind of have to get used to just because, you know, you're holding down the sprint button, you've got to press the jump button, and you've got to uh, use the hook shot at the same time. Uh, but I didn't have too much trouble getting used to it over time, so I don't think it'll be too bad, and you'll get used to it over the period of playing the game. But this is definitely a game that can be done quick, so speedrunners will love this. Um, very Mega Man style, where you can either take it slow, uh, not get hit by anything, or take it super fast. 
bust your way through everything, kill everything, and run through. Taking a little bit of damage never hurt anyone, right? <clears throat> so yeah, um, aside from that, there's also this, which is different chips that you can get. Um, I think the, the demo, which is what I'm playing right now, this is a demo, uh, loads you up with a bunch of different things. Um, so you can get a double jump, um, where's the other one I wanted? You can reduce fall speed by holding on the jump button, and you can do hook shots into um, enemies. <clears throat> so those are the ones I chose, but there's also a whole bunch of other ones, so there's eight in total on this. Maybe there will be more in the, the actual game, or maybe these are just showing off all the different ones you can get. I'm not really sure. I would assume there'd be more. Um, but yeah, you can take a look for yourself what each one of those does. There's also these burst techniques, so these are from a multi-hitting uppercut that flies up at an angle. So up and burst. Maybe burst. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. So there is a burst button, uh, and you have to charge that over time. Top left, it has the uh, the amount charged right now. It's zero. So let me see. Yeah, I get that from killing enemies, uh, and then I can use my abilities. <clears throat> so yeah, th there's a lot to this. Like, it's pretty pretty large variety of things you can do and customizing the way you want to play. For me, I just want to kind of smash through things and go fast. For you, maybe completely different. Uh, and I'm sure mine is probably worse. <laughs> mine is probably- I probably die a lot more than your average person playing this game, but, you know, it's fun. Let's see if I can get to the next uh, thing without dying. So these guys, I'm not really sure what the point in, in um, saving those people are, other than being, you know, a good citizen. Um, maybe there is a point in the demo, maybe there's not, and there will be in the, the full game. I couldn't say. Uh, me, it's also tied to how many points you get at the end, uh, cause I think there is like a, a point system and then like grading, grading, is there a grading system? I don't remember. Okay. Typical Mega Man blowing me up. You don't die instantly to spikes, you die in, um, a couple hits, so I appreciate that, cause if it was just you immediately die, I would die a billion times. Okay, I failed there. So there's little puzzles like this that you have to get through. Uh, speed things, speed tests, whatever you want to call them. And every checkpoint, every checkpoint you uh, you can get your uh, life points back, so that's cool. That means I die a lot less than I would. This game isn't particularly easy. It's not, like, insane hard, like, um, I don't know, some super hard platformers that played, like, Kaizo Mario or anything like that. But it's decently difficult. I think it's pretty close to that old Mega Man uh, level of difficulty, which you would expect, right? It is very obviously inspired. And everyone... Everyone loves these. Remember the sound that the, uh... The disappearing blocks made? Doesn't make the, that sound, but... I'm sure maybe they'd get sued by Capcom if they tried to do that. I am failing completely. Alright, let's give that another shot. This is what happens when you die. I always have to have that, right? 
I totally meant to do that. That was completely on purpose and not a fail on my part. Alright. You can also grab this guy. Wasn't able to do it in time, though. Uh, you can also grab this guy's grenades. Uh, I don't think you can grab his shield. Nope. Oh. Alright. Let's try this again. Uh, chances of failure are high, but... Give it my best shot. I'm not getting that chest. Look, you can get the chest for yourself if you play this game. Oh god, okay. Luckily I had that double jump equipped, so I was able to get through there. Uh, if I hadn't had it on, I would have died 100%. Ooh. I'm getting blown up. Let me try this. There we go. Alright, so I made it to the next checkpoint. I'm not complete trash. Um, another thing that you might have noticed already is that a lot of these enemies, um, I don't know if this is the same in other levels, but at least in this level, their projectiles cause these, uh, these platforms that I'm standing on to be ignited, well, electrified. So if you step on those, you get the pain. So you don't want the pain. Pain is bad. At least I think so. Oh, and it looks like the, the checkpoint also causes enemies to respawn. Something I didn't know, but is a thing. Makes sense. Alright. Yeah, you can go through these levels pretty quick. As long as you know what you're doing. Uh, I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. I've played this one time before. Um, but clearly I don't know that well. Oh god. I, w I was a dumb. I say I know what I'm doing and I fail completely. As you do. As I do. Alright. Let's try to get up here in time. Good to go. I'm just charging my way through like a battering ram. Oh god. Can't battering ram your way through this. So. Oh. This part is super hard, in my opinion. This, these spikes just make it so difficult to get through there. Not impossible, though. You have to just time it correctly. Out. But yeah, the... Um... I think this game has done a really good job with the, uh, the Mega Man formula. I like having the melee, um... Weapon. Uh, it changes up it up a little bit and makes it, you know, have its own sort of unique flavor. Although, they're... There is a um, an old uh, Super Nintendo game, I think, that does do the melee Mega Man thing. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but Buster something? I can't remember. It's been forever since I played it. Um, that was pretty fun. And this kind of carries on that tradition, I guess. Trying not to get rocked, but failing. Okay.
Okay, I did it. Second try, alright? It's not too bad. Kind of have to be a little bit careful. Um, it's not too bad. Nothing crazy, I think. Oh, here we go. Grabbing that entire guy's head. And here we are. So this is the boss. You can tell because it does that little Mega Man thing where you're kind of stationary as it moves to the next uh, section. We got the boss over here. It does have like a little bit of story, um, but not a lot, just a little bit. The Guardian Core. All right, so here is the first boss. It is an electricity guy, electric man. Kind of have to hit him without getting shocked. And there you go, he's done, right? JK. He has a second phase. Uh, so I'm not sure if all of the enemies have second phases, but this one definitely does. Oh god. I'm close to death. Nice. Barely got him first. First of my second time playing. <laughs> first try of my second time playing uh, this mission. That is the first mission. It is actually pretty fun. I, I actually like this game. I think it's pretty great um, for being, you know, very Mega Man-like in its structure. It it does a good job. It does a better job of some of the other Mega Man-style games that I've played. That is for sure. There are plenty who have failed, and this game, I feel like it's done, done a good job. Uh, it says the end of the demo, but there is one other mission. I'll show off a little bit of that one, uh, but I haven't played it, so we'll see. It could be a horrible experience for me. I could fail completely. I like the head. So it looks like this is the approaching target. The evil robot boss. All right. So immediately busting down barrels. That one explodes. I'm gonna have to watch out for, I guess. Oh, there's a kind of a, a interesting effect on the back to uh, make it seem like it's hot. So I guess this is Fireman. Oh, those explode. It looks like. Pretty cool. I, I like the aesthetic of this uh, these levels. Both of the levels have been really actually cool. Uh, good music too, that's really important. Oh god. Wait, let me throw him. Yes. Oh yeah, there's the... Um, Oh, it took off, I guess, just for the demo. It's like it's a totally different thing, I guess. Um, and you don't... I guess that probably means you don't get the ability from the guy in the first level either. Maybe that's one of these. Uh, I'm just gonna grab... the abilities I chose before, because I like those. Those are fun. Out. <laughs> Interesting enemies. Little little robot dudes. I'm gonna get yeah. Hmm. There we go. 
first checkpoint and did not die. Wow. An accomplishment. Oh god. I spoke too soon? You can also slide, so something to keep in mind. Ooh, that reminds me of those energy tubes from, uh... Was that Mega Man 2? God, those things were so painful. Gave me excessive amounts of grief. Oh my god, I can! I can just barely duck under that. This little laser is terrorizing me, making th me think it's gonna come out. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. It's happening. This is a clear Mega Man reference. Oh no. Out. Help. I helped him. Um. But yeah, I, I just, every time I dash around like that, I'm just like, man, speedrunners are going to crush this game at some point. If people like it a lot. And I think it has potential. It could actually, um, if the whole game is good, you know? That's always the if, right? Definitely seems really fun. Uh-oh. How do I... How do you get to that guy? Oh. Ah, here we go. Oh, spikes everywhere. I'm not even gonna bother. Hey. Boom. Just uppercut that guy. Sure you can. Alright. Kinda interesting, you have to pay attention to where all the little cracks are. Uh-oh. Ow. I am almost dead. Okay. Yes. So close. I almost died there. Yeah, I knew from before. I wasn't gonna die there. Okay. Immediately die. Alright, just gonna wait for the laser to go by. Is it... triggered by me? That... It seems like it is. It is. Well, that's rude. adding new layers of pain oh god how do I oh hey there we go <laughs> this is kind of cool oh god. <laughs> I have no HP at all Ooh. I need to jump there. Uh. Alright, well, this has been a Gravity Circuit. It is a lot of fun, actually. I think, uh, I think people are going to like this one. I think that it has legs. I think as long as the rest of the game continues in this vein, um, it's going to be, it's going to be great. I think a lot of people will like it. Uh, so give it a check yourself. It's on Steam right now. It, the demo is, um, so you can play the first level, see if you enjoy it yourself, and give it a wish list.
Uh, that is it for me, though.